Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. I've got two orders in today, uh, one from yesterday, one come through the mail today. So I'm probably in a bit of trouble because I told people that there'd be no more of these coins and I was under the impression that there wouldn't be. However, there is more 1907 S's. You know, they're decent coins. There's only nine here because one has been sold. I wasn't actively trying to sell them. It's just someone I know is just like, oh, I'll take one. So these coins I've been adding a slight premium over what I'd normally charge. They're in really good shape. I think I must have had about 60 or 70 1907 S's. I'm assuming the guy who got them, I believe they'll pass down to him, but I'm assuming he just bought an allocation. That's a hair. <laughs> So yeah, nothing special. I probably shouldn't have wasted a minute and a half on that. I then had, let's unzoom. A gentleman approached me about some coins he had. Uh, there was eight coins. So there was a half Krug. If that wants to focus, maybe it doesn't. Focus, there, there we go. So there was a half Krug. I just end up paying spot on the lot. There was four quarters. Nine ninety six nugget. Twenty twenty Brit. Two thousand fifteen year of the sheep. This might have a bit extra in it. I just paid spot on it. it the this type of coins are weird. Um, they they're not bullion coins, but also it's kind of strange. Like with with gold coins, especially with coins not from strong mints such as the Royal Mint, they they tend to revert back to spot. This is a bit of an anomaly because I think the series was cancelled. Um, and the designs were just awful. So usually you'd expect it to have like a fair premium over what you charge a Brit. Will I get more out of a Brit? Maybe a little extra, but I don't consider it as something like a semi numi coin. It's just a weird set, weird series. Cause I think they did the monkey. It was the monkey, the ram, the horse. I think they did the pig as well. And they was, it was just bad. It, it wasn't put together well. Maple. 1986. 2002 Sovereign. 2021 Sovereign. At the moment I'm being very careful on these. So I'm just paying spot on them when they come in. I am getting a couple come in. I don't want to pay too much. And then the price kind of lag behind over the next couple of years. It's going to take a while for the market to work out how it's going to price this type of coin. It always does go that way with a special year bullion. Like the 2017, you've got the proving mark. Um, for a while they were being picked up for normal prices. I typically pay five to ten over on the Privy Mark Sovereign alone these days. So I think that tells you all you need to know. And last but not least, I think this is great. 
I think this will do really well in the long term. I might try and keep it, I haven't decided. So yeah, I'll just keep it short and sweet today. Uh, let's have a quick overview. Enough to keep the machine moving. I've got some coins coming in tomorrow. Uh, I think it's three ounces of every sovereign. But I will, I'll certainly keep you up to date. I'm gonna tie the video off at six minutes. I, I don't particularly wanna hang about for 10. I've got a million and one things to do. But uh, I think my favorite coin out of the lot is probably the double. Great coin. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you on the next one.